Grails, 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 they're all here. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you're there, Sai. You get the right time. We got it on time line. Bubbles, hot toys, and chomp. Don't mind. Stick around. Like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it walls, we are together. Yes. It. Are we gonna unbox about it again, or are we just talking about yes, it? Yes, we're gonna unbox about it, but I got so many grails. Me too. You have a grail? Three of them. Three grails? Oh yeah. Okay, well I don't know if I... I can't stop. I can't You look like you're stop. getting tired. I'm not. You're getting tired. I'm going fast as can be. Look at me. Look okay. at me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Try to get me. No. You can't. Get, you can't. What do you mean get you? I don't know. What am I trying to get? I don't understand. <laughs> Why do you have such a crazy look in your eyes? I don't like it. Not only do we have grails to unbox, but we also have a bunch of Funko Pops that came in the mail that we ordered a long time ago, and a lot of them I completely forgot about, but we're gonna unbox them, we're gonna show them off. It's gonna be fun, so stick around. But before we get into all of that, hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post new content, and we post new content every single day, and we go live every single Sunday. Also hit the like button because it helps our reach, and we can reach more people to watch Watch the Gasol cast. But Chris, let me tell you something. If you're just like reaching people, they're not gonna like it. So you gotta like gently nudge them. No, you gotta take it with force. So let's start off with the Marvel Collector Core I Am Groot from Amazon. This is a box I've been sitting around and waiting for. The Amazon person must have thought these were grails because look how they left them on our porch. They covered them with our little gnome rug. That rug isn't gonna protect sh We had the gnome protection. This box starts off with a t-shirt. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at Groot. Is that planet cheese? Oh, it's a, there's cheese balls. Oh, it's a bag of the cheese balls. That's what it is, it's like an alien snack. Did you like what I said? I said planet cheese. Yeah, it looks like a little planet cheeses. <laughs> This is awesome though. I like this shirt mainly because the colors are really bright. That's cool. Okay. And I like that it doesn't just say Groot on it. It says I am Groot. Exactly. It's a plant Groot. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me see. He has a mustache. <laughs> it's the greatest. I like his hair. This is amazing. He looks like Marie Antoinette with a mustache. He does. This might be the best pin they've ever packed in. Look at this. He has a Marie Antoinette hairdo. Oh my God. This is amazing. This is the best pin they've ever put inside these boxes. I love that. Okay, so in one of the episodes, he's in his pot and it like falls over, cracks open, and then he realizes that he has little legs. So that's kind of cool. But how many Groots do we need in a pot? We've had enough of these, haven't we? Have you ever had a surfing Groot? Holy sh that's amazing. Actually, is he surfing or is he on so? Oh, he's on something, but he's surfing for sure. That's awesome. I love that Funko Pop. I don't know how I feel about another Groot in a pot. I really like his little hair sprout. But I love him on a surfboard. Oh my God, these are amazing. They are the cutest things ever. Him on the surfboard might be the greatest Groot Fungo Pop I've ever seen, ever. So in terms of Marvel Collector Core boxes, this isn't like the best box I've ever received, but I gotta say, this is at least an eight out of 10 for me. I would have paid that amount, at least for the shirt and the pin by themselves. Yeah, I really like the mustache on the Groot. Marvel Collector Core, if you can do more bright colored shirts, that'd be awesome. Marvel Collector Core, if you can do another Groot shirt, but this time with the leaf mustache, that would be awesome. Before we unbox anything else, I did want to mention that today the Derek Jeter Funko Pop went up on Funko Shop. Yeah, with the chase. But it didn't sell out. No, it didn't. Very surprised by that, and my assumption is they made like 1.5 billion of these Funko Pops. I feel like as a kid, Yankees merchandise was all I ever saw, and we live close to Baltimore. I mean, I've seen a lot of like Baltimore Orioles stuff, but Yankees was like like a close second here. They're, yeah, Yankees are like the kiss of the baseball world. They have virtually anything you want with Yankees logo attached to it. Very surprised this Funko Pop didn't sell out because Derek Jeter is like a legend. Typically anything with a chase sells out really fast. This one did not, and I think they made way too many. I feel like Derek Jeter will sell out, but maybe mud. in a couple of days. I think it'll sell out. He has mud. I know he does, he's, yeah. Like if his 
were out, like Jay from Jay and Silent Whoa, Bob. Whoa, okay. Or like Tommy Lee. By the way, the Tommy Lee thing, holy shit. Holy schlong. Yeah, that's unbelievable. That's now, a big boy. I didn't see anything. Do you want to see it? No, I don't. I'm going to show you. No, 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 don't, don't show no, me. No, 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 I, don't no, need, I, ha I, I don't have. I don't need to see it. Listen, I don't need to see it. No, you're going to see it. But I don't want to see it. I, I, I just want you to see it. Why am I looking at this? He put the whole thing out there and didn't even give a f Oh my God, it was like almost the entire picture. It was just hanging and slanging. It had folds. He had to roll it up to put it in his pants. All right, so those are the two big pieces of news all day. We the gave you- The big right, pieces We of gave news. you the Funko news, and then we also gave you the Tommy Lee news. He like posted those by accident, I think? No, he didn't. Did he the caption was, oops. Oh, so he meant to put his hog out there. According to the caption, it was an accident. Well, now that we've got the biggest news out of the way. Well, check this out. So our friend Ross, he found me a he who remains in store. Nice. So this did not show up locally. At least I haven't seen it yet. Not this yet. This was a Target exclusive. I guarantee you when I go to Target tomorrow, there's going to be like 20 deep. So I'm not going to unbox this, but I do think this is a great Funko Pop. I love this Funko Pop. And this was probably my number two for SDCC this year. The number one sitting back there, by the way. Whoa. It's my grail of SDCC and I can't wait. But not only that, Heather. I got something even bigger sitting behind me. Now, not in terms of Tommy size. Is it Tommy Lee? No. It, it, not in terms of size, <laughs> but in terms of value and in terms of how f awesome it is. Ooh. It's one of my number one favorite Funko Pops of all time, and I finally was able to get my hands on it. This thing is awesome. I got it from a local friend, and I can't wait to tell you the story behind it, but you're going to have to wait. Oh, and look what came from Walmart. Oh, a Mr. Knight that they didn't put in the pop protector that they forced you to f Bye. I hate these! Yeah. Please don't hurt those because we have to do a hard stack protect off coming soon. All right, I forgot about that. In the coming weeks, we are going to do a hard stack protect off. We are going to order quite a few hard stacks and test them against each other. And in the meantime, you can go and check out our soft protect off that we filmed just a couple weeks ago. You know, it wasn't soft, Tommy. Like okay, enough. So this is Mr. Knight of Glow in the Dark Walmart exclusive. We're gonna glow him in the dark. I'm not gonna pull him out and go through all of that. We'll just glow him through the window but first I want to get through a bunch of other stuff. Good call on not glowing him right now because I got a couple things that glow. Whoa, okay. I'm a glow ho. All right, so I have a box from our friends over at poppinofftoys.com. If you haven't been to poppinofftoys.com, head over there now. Check out everything that they have in stock. You can buy some really cool Funko sodas, Funko Pops. They got all sorts of stuff over there. Go and check it out. The box that I just received are all of the Peacemaker Funko Pops. We got Peacemaker in his underpants. I like that. I love underpants. We have Judo Master. Eh. Eagly that isn't flocked. I love Eagly. We have a Peacemaker with Eagly hugging him. The only thing that would make this better is if he were in underpants, but continue. And we have Vigilante, which is probably my favorite character from the entire TV show. Vigilante is sort of like a Deadpool kind of a character. He is like hardcore violent. And he's like funny and quippy. So we're going to unbox these and take a look at these. Wait, DC actually did something funny? James Gunn did the show. Oh, yeah. that makes sense. Of course, because James Gunn awesome. That makes sense. Yeah, James Gunn is big these days. Not as big as Tommy Lee. Well, I don't know. That's unconfirmed. That's true, yeah. Well, sh is it weird that I'm curious? No, 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 no. There's too much we have a full set of these that we'll be giving away during our next Patreon call. That's right, if you're one of our patrons, you can tune in during our monthly Zoom call, hang out with us, and win prizes. One of the prizes, you'll get all of these Funko Pops. One winner will take them all home. That's awesome. Is he not standing? I'm gonna have to adjust his feet. Okay. That gives me an idea. What? I'm gonna do a video on how to make your pops that won't stand, stand. How's that sound to you? You're kidding me. Amazing, I love that idea, that's great. Do you wanna do that? Yeah, of course I wanna do that. Okay, I'll teach everybody how to do it, but you all owe me a dollar. You all owe me $20. There you go. Thank Good you. job. Thank you. Good marketing, Heather. Thank you. Okay, so my top two for this particular set, Peacemaker being hugged by Eagly, because that actually does happen in the show. He gets hugged by an eagle. And by the way, there is like a little hidden thing back here. He has like his little like knives. See him? 
Oh, I thought you were pointing out Peacemaker's butt. Oh, please. no, no. Well, Peacemaker does have a he's, nice... He's got a dumper. He's, that's he's, a that's a heavy-hitting dumper. Baby got back. I yeah. love these Funko Pops. These are great. Can I tell you my fave? That Mr. one. Mr. Underpants? How'd you know? I love any pop in underpants. Walter White in his underpants is like my number one. You know what? That's funny that you say that because I was thinking exactly the same thing. The only other Funko Pop I can think of in their underpants is Walter White. If you can think of another Funko Pop in its underpants or in her, his or her underpants, please comment down below. Do I would love have, to know which ones. Do they have Arrested Development? Uh, yeah. There was a blue guy. But this is Judo Master and of course this is the Peacemaker in his underpants. How about just Eagly in general? This Eagly is pretty great. I, I like the flocked one from Amazon. We talked okay. about this like a couple episodes ago. The flock one is so much better. You can't get any more American than that. Well, you sort of could. If you were like eating a hot dog. Oh, or hanging out a big dong. Is that what you're going to say? I got a package from Poppin' Off Toys and I ordered this like Monday. So I had asked you, did you order the black light Pennywise? Right, and we and found out told, that I did. You told me no. Yeah. We literally came home that day to a box from Entertainment Earth with black light Pennywise. No, I'm stupid. But Poppin' Off Toys is fast and they shipped me their in sock stuff like super duper quick. So now I got two. Oh my god, and maybe we give one away? No, what's better than one Pennywise? Two Pennywise! Yay! So we have a running joke with Wes because Wes likes to give love notes to Chris. Looks like I got one today. Whoa! All right. It has a heart on. To my love, you are the best. I treasure you. What? I think of you daily. Oh my God. Thank you for being you. Tell Heather I said hello. <laughs> wow, of course. Oh, uh, Wes Howard, I knew that you'd come through. I knew you'd pull through for our love. I can't do this one by one with the way it's packed. It's packaged really well, by the way. There's a la nice layer of bubble wrap. Hey. Pennywise. Oh my God, and he comes in a soft protector. Yes, you want to know why? Because any pop that you order on their website, over $15 automatically comes with one. That is amazing! Chucky! Yes! Oh, that's awesome! And he's in rough shape, so I opted for the damage box because it was a little bit cheaper. I'm happy to take damage boxes off of his hands because this guy's coming right out of box. I know that people are super picky about their boxes. I'm not, so I'm cool taking this. So can you go on the website and order damaged Funko Pops? Yes, and they are reduced. I believe he was $7.99 or $8.99. Oh my god, this guy's colors are amazing. I know. That's so, so cool. Are Chucky's. Look at Chucky's. Oh, he's awesome. Look at his pink blood. Yeah, he's cool, but I still like Pennywise better, I think. Yeah, he's Pennywise, awesome. like his color on his face and head are like a different paint job than over here. Yeah. This that's looks weird. like it's in the plastic, whereas this is actual paint. Grail of the year. I am calling this now. This is going to be a grail. Okay. Oh, and I also got a damage box on this one because I didn't care. Sir Mix a lot. Standing on the buttocks. On the butt. <laughs> Oh my God. I cannot believe you bought this. I had to. That's amazing. So look at Sir mix a lot standing on the butt. Heather actually thought this was a custom when we first saw it, but no, he is really standing on a butt. Yeah, I thought someone took the Sir mix a lot pop and like they sculpted a butt. <laughs> That's so awesome. I can't wait to light these up. We're going to light these up. We're also going to light Hold up on. Mr. Knight. Is this another one another I have one. to, yeah, to bend? Yeah. yeah, he's sort of doing like a lean back too. What yeah. is going on with these? Well, you bought the damaged boxes. They Pen come not Pennywise. Weird, they come with weird legs. Not Pennywise. All right, so we're going to glow all of these and this, but should we show the grails first? Let's make them wait. Come on. Let, make they want to see, see these sick glows and then we can get to the grails. Uh, Sir mix a lot doesn't glow, but he's pretty fire. Mr. Knight's glow is amazing, but I'm not surprised because any Funko Pop that has like a white paint scheme and it's going to glow in the dark, it always glows the brightest and it glows the longest. You know what else is long? Okay, so first of all, these are already bright as They hell. look awesome, yeah. We do have a little backlight behind us. There you Oh my god, look at that. They both look incredible. Yeah. What I love wow. about Blacklight Funko Pops, especially the horror ones, they remind me of the walkthrough haunted houses during Halloween. Yes, because they always had like the black light and the cheesy like neon everywhere. Exactly, yeah. I'm glad you got the Chucky because that was one I really wanted. Really? Yeah, that's so cool. It's for me. Sorry, bye. Okay, so we just unboxed like a lot of stuff, a lot of really cool stuff. I promised at the beginning of the video that we would be opening some grails. I have one grail that I bought from a local friend that's an older Funko Pop from 2016 that is super grail territory. It's something I've wanted for a very long time and I finally have it. It's the most that we've ever spent on a Funko it Pop. It sure is. And the other Funko Pop that we have is from SDCC 2020. 
2022. One of our friends, our good pal Lindsay, stood in line at the Funko booth at SDCC to get this for me. Not only did she stand in line, she somehow lugged this around town to get it like to her hotel and to FedEx. Thank you, Lindsay. This pop is like as big as she is. It really is. And it's it got huge. lost in the mail and I'm just really happy that we got our hands on it. You know, there is one more item I forgot to show. This was sent to us by our friend Carl Wilson. That is the shirt that you've been wanting since you saw it on Sean Neal. Yep, so I finally got my own Funko shirt. Oh my God, it glows in the dark. Oh my God, I didn't even know that. I saw like a little bit of like a greenish tint. Oh, that's so sick. I had no idea that it glowed in the dark. Thank you, Carl Wilson, for sending that to me. You're amazing. Okay, so Lindsay ran into Mike Becker at SDCC and he pulled these out of his pocket and handed them to her. And I feel so honored that Lindsay chose us to give them to. So this one says Funko family member established 1998. And this other one says honorary Funkoville citizen. The these are amazing and we are going to treasure these forever. Thank you so much, Lindsay. All right, so my grail is Unicron. He actually comes with the con sticker, which I'm really excited about that. Oh man, he is awesome. Wow. Look at that. What a great looking Fungo Pop. So if you don't know, this guy is from the 1986 Transformers film. Uh, he was in other iterations of Transformers, like the cartoons and things. In the film, he was like the big Big bad. He was the big bad guy. You know how I can tell he's a bad guy? How? Because he has horns and really sharp teeth. So he actually is like a planet and he eats other planets. So in the movie at the end, because it's Transformers, he actually transformed from a planet into this. Could you imagine if one day we woke up and Earth just looked like this thing? <laughs> We're walking around on a big monster. I would be honored to live on a giant transformer monster. What if you were on like his butthole? That isn't the first place I'd like to be on Unicron, but f it. You know where Tommy Lee would be? Oh, I know where Tommy Lee would be. Right there. <laughs> Actually, here's Tommy Lee right here. <laughs> that, that is Tommy Lee. <laughs> Oh, and he stands really well. Look how he stands. Oh, so I don't need I don't need to fix this one in no. my video. No. In okay. fact, they gave him like these cool like feet. I'm sure it's just like the cartoon. I never really paid attention to his feet. You never did? You didn't have like a cartoon foot I don't fetish? Have, no, I don't have a cartoon. You did? Fetish. No, I don't know. I thought all kids did. Is that weird? Am I weird? Yeah, you're f weird. You never saw Bugs Bunny's feet? They look like house slippers. What, what the about are you talking what about? What about Woody Woodpecker? The only thing I was worried about was his pecker. I think we both know that. That's the only thing anybody's worried about on Tommy Lee. Hey! All right, so the biggest grail of all time. The most expensive grail we have ever purchased. We never spend more than retail on pops. Only on rare occasions do we spend over retail on Funko Pops. Like for your birthday one year, I got you the original Avengers for around like 50 bucks a piece. Yeah. Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost fucking arc. I thought you were going to say Raiders of the Lost Fart. So there he is, Indiana Jones, and it actually isn't from Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's actually from Temple of the Forbidden Eye, but it does look like Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark because he's holding the little idol in his hands and he also has his whip. So this Funko Pop has been elusive to me for many, many years. I always wanted to buy it. The price is always up and down. Right now, I think he sits at about $360. Well, on top of that, there's also fakes that go around of this guy. Lots of fakes, but I know for a fact this did come from SDCC because our friend is friends with Jason Swoboda. And I believe he was there or Jason got it for him. He reached out to me. He was looking to sell this and was asking what was like the best way to sell it. And I was like, hey, this is a Funko Pop I've wanted for a very long time. Can we work out a deal? And he was like, yeah, for sure. And we worked out a deal. I spent $250 on this. That's pretty awesome. Considering it's 360, it has a little tiny bit of damage. There's like a little nick up in the corner, but it's very minor. The only reason why I consider that sort of like a major damage is because it's on the front. It isn't like it's a screw up on the bottom, but I'm okay with it because I'm not too crazy about like that. I'm really excited about this Funko Pop. And, and I have a lot of memories with this guy because my dad and I were huge fans of Indiana Jones when I was little. This Star Wars and Back to the Future was our shit. So a big thanks to our friend Phil for working out a deal with me. Dude, you were so awesome. He's not really in the Funko community and he doesn't really watch Castlecast, but I still want to put some love out there anyway because I am super, super, super excited about this. Thank you so much. I've waited your entire rant to tell you that you know what doesn't have a little neck? Tommy Lee. Oh yeah!
They're the, the dream team. Man, we really need to work on that video to get these guys to stand. So I would like to know what you think about all of our new items here. And how about this new shirt that glows in the dark? Doesn't this remind you of Glenn Danzig? Yeah. It's Surf awesome. USA. It ha yeah, that's cool. Hey, hey, okay. So many cool things here. This was a lot of fun. And Groot Mustache. Guys, we want to know what you think about all this and more in the comment section down below. As we mentioned before, if you want to win an entire set of Peacemaker Funko Pops, you have to be a patron. Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support this channel. Head over there right now and check it out. We appreciate all of you so, so much. Speaking of which, we'd like to take this time to thank some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to... Brian Dill, Dirty Deuce, Marshall Owens, Run the Canoes, Chavo, Garcia Fan Bam, Thomas Rinkax, Russell Walker, Chris Zazaski, and Hassan E. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock! All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we hunt together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.